Do you know that there is a way that you can make people stop ignoring you? There's a way that you can manipulate the energy field around about you that will cause someone to pay attention to you. Whether it's someone that you want to have a relationship with, or maybe you are in a relationship with that person but you're being cold-shouldered. Maybe you feel like at work you just never noticed, you don't have a voice. Today I'm going to teach you how to manipulate your own energy field so that that person will stand up and pay attention to you. It works every time. My name's Ben, welcome to Elevate. Let's kick straight on into it. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel today, folks. Great to be with you again. If it's your first time here, I really hope that you love it and that it blesses you. If you enjoy your time here, please do consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up and sharing the video around. That's going to help other folks find this content too. But on with today's lesson. Folks, there is a way that we can manipulate our energy field. We can't manipulate the energy field of others. That's not our responsibility. But we can augment and shift our vibrational energy in such a way that will cause somebody to stand up and pay attention. You know, so often when I talk to people, they have issues in relationships, issues where they're being given the cold shoulder. Now it might be in a current relationship they have with a, you know, their partner, their husband, their wife, their spouse, whatever it might be. They might be going through a hard time. They might be being completely ignored. But also very often I have people that I speak with who are trying to attract somebody. They're trying to pursue a relationship with somebody, to take something to the next level. And you know what? Sometimes it seems the more we try, the more we do, the more we focus and concentrate on it, the more we just push that person away. And it becomes very perplexing and it becomes a self-perpetuating cycle. Today I'm going to teach you how to break free of that. You know, oftentimes we can be seeking for, you know, career aspirations. We have goals at work and it's so frustrating if we feel that we just, we, we don't have a voice. We're unseen in our workplace. You can apply what I'm going to teach you today to make that boss, that decision maker, stand up and notice you. You know, maybe you're in a sales role and there's a client whose business you're really wanting to win and you're in competition with different other agencies. There is a way that you can manipulate the energy field so that that person will pay attention to you. And it all comes down to focusing on your vibrational alignment and your vibrational energy. You see, when someone is not offering us the level of attention or investing into us the level of attention that we would like, that we require, that we seek from them. It's only for one reason. It's because there is a mismatch in the energy field. There is a misalignment in the vibrational energy. And you know, if you take a step back and think about your days as a school, as a, you know, maybe a high school student and you, you know, you had your first crush. And maybe they didn't quite feel the same about you. Or maybe someone had a crush on you and you didn't quite feel the same about them. And the more they pursued you, the more of a turn off it was. You know, that could have been the sweetest boy in the world back in high school, bringing you chocolates and writing you notes and wanting to take you to the disco or walk to the school gate with you after the bell rings. It could be the sweetest, sweetest boy there. But if there is not alignment in the energy field, if there's not commonality and duality of purpose, then that's going to be the biggest turnoff. You think about that. You think about if someone has ever wanted a relationship with you, and they've pursued it so hard that it pushes you away. It's not a nice feeling, is it? 
So it's not a nice feeling for them either. Have you been in a situation where you have pursued something, whether it's a relationship or a job, no matter what it is, you've pursued something so much that you've pushed it away? What that is, is it's lack of alignment with a universal principle that is known as the law of divine oneness. This is something we've studied recently in my online counseling and mentoring group. Link in the description below if you want to have a look at that. The law of divine oneness is the law that governs the fact that everything we desire every person, every experience, every place, everything, every blessing, it comes from within us. Now you might say to me, Ben, how is that even possible? It's possible because if you can understand the saying I always use on this channel, then you can understand how that's the case. Say it with me, if you've been around long enough, you know this, the law of attraction never brings us what we want. The law of attraction brings to us who we are. So folks, I want to encourage you today that instead of having a dream and deciding, I want a relationship with this person, I'm going to manifest it, and then pursuing after it, make that decision if it aligns with you, but release it. You focus on your journey, you focus on your energy field. Because if you focus on impressing yourself upon them, the energy fields will just grind and mismatch and you will push them away, which is exactly the opposite of what we want. So what we need to do is become masters of our own energy field. We need to become masters of the mantle that we carry with us and how we operate within the energy field that surrounds us. So understanding the law of divine oneness means that we now know that Instead of just saying, oh, I want this thing and it's over there and I'm going to go get it. I want this relationship and it's over there and I'm going to go pursue it. No, no, no. That relationship is already within here. It's just not yet manifest. So to get it out of here and manifest it into reality, we need to walk through a journey that is going to create in us the person that is able to manifest that thing and then responsibly hold it in our life. Do you see what I mean? So when we look at someone and say, wow, I'd love a relationship with that person, you have one of two choices. You can begin pursuing that with the risk that your energy of pursuing, your energy of chasing is actually going to chase them away. And then they're going to start ignoring you because they just, they don't know what else to do. Or you can focus on your energy field and understand that the relationship with that person is already within you. There's simply a journey you need to go on that is going to allow it to grow, that is going to unlock the door and allow you to step into that beautiful flourishing garden that is that relationship. So the key here is to focus on your energy field. Focus on you. Get your eyes off the person and understand that if there is a dream in your heart, it is to come true. The only thing stopping it from coming true right now is the journey it takes for you to become the person who can responsibly hold that manifestation. So if you want someone to stop ignoring you, if you're looking for a relationship and you're being ignored, this works every time. Stop contacting that person. Stop pursuing that person. Stop messaging them. Stop calling them. Stop sending things. Stop emailing. Stop everything. Break it off and concentrate on your energy field, concentrate on coming up higher, concentrate on finding that part inside of you that aligns with divine oneness. Visualize and see yourself prospering in that relationship and allow the universe to begin walking very gently with you down the track of the life that will lead you towards manifesting that. Allow the universe to come alongside you to show you the signs to lead you gently towards all the answers that you ask questions of. And as you do that, you walk softly and gently with God and his angels. An amazing thing will happen. That person that was once running from you will stand up and pay attention. When they see and feel the shift in your energy field, they won't know why, but there will be something inside of them that corresponds with the sound of your new song. 
and they will want to come into harmonious relationship and harmonious vibrational matching with you. So that's how you get someone to sit up and pay attention to you. Focus on you. Stop the pursuit because when you chase, you chase away. So just shift the energy and allow that thing to come and envelop you. Don't chase it away. Just release it and understand that you are now on a journey of becoming the person that not just will manifest that thing, but will be the person who is seasoned enough in life to be able to enjoy that manifestation for the rest of your days. Folks, I hope this message has blessed you today. Don't forget to get involved in the conversation. Drop a comment below. Please do subscribe to the channel because I put new videos out every single day of the week. But from me for today, that's all I've got for you. So until tomorrow, have a great day. I love you so much. Peace.